What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and before we continue I have to say an honest genuine thank you to all the new subscribers that have jumped on board recently. If you didn't know I came back from a two and a half month complete shutdown period on YouTube where I spent that time working on a lot of personal issues and improving my production quality with the videos and I can say for the most part I'm extremely happy with where it is right now but recently after only four days our growth completely exploded us going from getting 16 15 14 subs a day all the way up to 744 in just today that is fucking major and i cannot express to you guys enough how thankful i am for you dudes liking the content and hopefully you're sticking around for the future because you know I, I like having niggas like you around here man y'all niggas always add that life blood to the attica world network man i'm thankful to have boys like you around here shout outs to all the new subscribers and shout outs to my boys that's currently been on board all my boys that's been on board for a while team notifications i see you niggas man thank you very much and then also just to just because it's halloween it's the time of the it's the time of the year where you know everybody gets all ghouled and goblined up we have overwatch making a very surprising move well maybe not surprising to some but surprising with a certain character now of course they have like the halloween theme going on and i don't know how many of you dudes have seen mercy but good lord almighty man mercy caught the work for halloween <laughs> look i made a tweet about it as you can see right here i said i can't lie halloween mercy got me i got a nigga feeling like wanting to go trick or treat right now <laughs> I can't lie. I mean, God damn, I usually don't pay attention to Mercy in the game. I mean, I haven't played in a little bit anyways, but good shit, Blizzard. Very good shit, Blizzard. Y'all niggas are on top of your game, man. I made a couple tweets about it, too. I had to, bro. I mean, come on, nigga. How does this, how does this shit go again? What do the kids say again? They say that uh, trick or treat, smell them feet, give me something good to eat, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up, nigga. <laughs> Okay, let's continue, man. Um, also, I wanted to bring up with you guys something that I noticed as well. If we're in the theme of Halloween, I was looking on Twitter and I noticed that Toby Fox, his Twitter profile picture changed to something a bit more uh, dreary. Some of you guys, if you played Undertale, you know what this is, but I can't spoil you. This is something from the game. Um, play the game for yourself if you haven't yet. A lot of people say it's cancer. It's not. Trust me, it's a great experience. Just don't let the fan base fuck you up. But yeah, his profile picture changed to this, man. I'm not sure if this means something. Like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, sequel. But maybe that's not the case. Maybe I'm jumping the gun. I also had asked niggas on Twitter, and most people said that he changed his profile picture for Halloween. So, I mean, if that's the case, then I guess we can't really take this that's too much. But it still is creepy nonetheless, man. Especially when knowing where that image is from. Man, I, that... that Undertale playthrough was fucking disturbing, but anyways, continuing onward, we have Nintendo NX stuff that I want to bring up with you guys, but I'm not in the same spirit as I was when the NX news was really hot off the press, we had all those earlier leaks and rumors and such, or rather, I shouldn't even say leaks, just rumor speculation from somewhat credible sources. I made a post on Twitter saying this, now, I'm so, so, so tired of covering obscure leaks from shadowy sources that show nothing significant. Well, nothing too significant, I should say. Even my hype has a limit, and a lot of people agreed with me. They all said, you know what, Etika, man? If you really are getting burnt out by all of the leaked stuff with the NX, and the reason why I'm burnt out is not necessarily the NX is making me tired, but the lack of super credible resources makes me tired. Nothing from Nintendo's mouth. Everything else is getting me burned out now. I need to hear something from Nintendo's mouth. So you're watching the title of this video, and you're like, Etika, you're doing another video based on the exact thing that you showed us you don't like. This is different, however, because this is actually some news coming from Nintendo themselves. And a big subject of discussion was recently, when will the NX finally be revealed? June, July, August, September came and went. Nothing. But we might just potentially have something going on here with the NX for October or later this year, at least. But it definitely will be revealed in this year as news is coming in from Nintendo of Europe, which says that... The NX is definitely going to be announced this year. So let's take a look at this real quick, guys. Um, so let's read this. I mean, it's not really too much to read. And like I said, the only reason why I'm reporting on this is because it's coming from the horse's mouth itself. It's now October, and we are still waiting for Nintendo to fully reveal their next generation platform, the Nintendo NX. People online were speculating that it might not be revealed until as late as January, which, I mean, that, that video... I don't blame niggas for going down to that... <laughs> 
excuse me. I don't blame I mean, this. This shit gets me frustrated, man. But I do not blame people for going down that path because since we haven't really seen anything about it for so long, obviously there's going to be people that are completely distraught. They don't know when this thing's going to be revealed. The hype levels go up, then they go down again. I mean, people like me and Obi Wan, we're having fucking heart attacks worrying about this thing. I mean, if you've seen the Nintendo NX Reddit, it's not in a good place right now. That shit is fucked up, Nick. But anyways, continuing to read on. And this is a response from a Nintendo of Europe employee who says, Hello, unfortunately we cannot give you more details at this point in time. You already mentioned that one information that we have. Nintendo will publicly share information about the NX within this year. So 2016, it's got to go down. The question, of course, is when. But at least we know it's going to happen this year. But of course, when you say this year, it could mean anywhere in October, November, December. We could still potentially have a really long time to wait for this thing. Let's just pray that they don't reveal it as late as December. But that might just be a possibility. No clarification was given in terms of when this year. So it's in the air at this point. Let's read further on as to what this employee has to say. When we open this Nintendo, wait, actually no, I read a little bit too far. Nintendo will publicly share more information about NX within this year. What this will mean for the disclosure of technical information is still to be decided. When we open this Nintendo developer portal, our goal was to provide the same amount of technical information to small and big companies and even individuals for existing platforms Wii U and 3DS. Whether or not that will be the case for the NX, we cannot promise. So this is a post which is probably made for developers, or a developer made this post asking about information on the NX and the technical specifications so they could have a sense of what to develop and how to develop it. But Nintendo's not giving any leeway here. So it's understandable, though, because if they just gave them the information right here on the developer portal, then obviously that would leak out. And uh, I guess their big surprise reveal event would not be able to go down without a hitch, as they've probably been planning. Um, continuing reading, the one thing I can add is that from what I was told of previous platform launches, the tools and development environment are rarely fully stable until very late. So he's basically saying right here, the NX basically is not going to have the tools ready for any developer or indie party um, programmer to use until soon super late, um, probably after the reveal and right before the in the release of this thing. It's kind of crazy when you think about it like that. Um, hold on a second. I got to do laundry. You might. Oh, yeah. I didn't even address why I have my fucking clothes on. I'm doing laundry as this video is going on. This, this is what's called multitasking, niggas. Get used to it. Anyways, <laughs> continuing on. Sharing them with a lot of people too early would have created a lot of support work for Nintendo and frustration for developers. So they were shared openly pretty late. If this launch goes the same as previous ones, I would suggest to be patient. God fucking damn it. Yo, this Richard Bot? Nigga, we've been patient, my boy. We've been patient since March of 2015, my nigga. I don't know if I have any more. Like I said, I'm only covering this because it came from Ninty themselves. Hopefully, this is not going to be the only tidbit of information regarding the NX that Nintendo speaks of for the rest of the entire year until the end of December. I'm praying and hoping. But at this point, guys, all we can do is cross our fingers. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourselves a damn good one. Hopefully, this thing doesn't keep us with our dicks in our hands for too long. Later.